This question expects us to infer that the number of occupied seats at the beginning of the lecture was 135, since there was no further time for anyone else to come in or leave. And that number 135 is 75% of the total capacity. So we can write this equation, where we have created the variable C to stand for the capacity. We know that the 0.75 goes on the right side of the equation because in expressing the sentence's algebra, the word is in 135 is 75% of will mean an equal sign. Furthermore, when we are told something is a percent of something else, we can express that in algebra by multiplying the percent in decimal form by the other number. The of is like a multiplication sign. To solve for C, we must isolate it. One way to do this is to convert 0.75 into a fraction and multiply both sides of the equation by its reciprocal. In this fashion, we get one on the right side as the fractions cancel, and we learn that C equals 4 thirds of 135. We can multiply that out, and we obtain that the capacity is 180. By the way, if you are like many people, you might have forgotten or never even known possibly how to do some of these calculations. For example, the last step can be achieved through long division if necessary. You will definitely need to know how to do long division for the GMAT, though you will naturally avoid it if possible. Long division is covered in the math review of this course, and you can also check it outside of questions by picking random numbers and dividing them and checking it on your favorite calculating device. We have found the seating capacity, it's 180. The question asks for how many seats were empty two minutes prior to the lecture. At that time, 112 seats were filled, so the number empty was 180 minus 112, or 68. Therefore, answer choice E is correct.